Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given nested radical equation as you can see over here. This involves the sixth root of 62 and then the fifth root of 30 followed by the third which is the cube root of 7 and then followed by the square root of x equals to 2. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the radical equation. I have just copied it down. Let's go ahead and start working on it. And as you can see, we got this sixth root outside. So let's undo this sixth root by taking the power six on both sides. All right. So this sixth power and this sixth root, they undo each other. So we ended up with 62 plus the fifth root of 30 and then inside that one we got the cube root of 7 and then followed by the x uh, square root of x rather equal to 2 power 6 equal to 64. Now let's go ahead and subtract 62 from both sides so we can remove the 62 from the left hand side so we simply got this radical part as we canceled out this 62 and negative 62 and now since we are dealing with this now the fifth root of 30 so let's go ahead and take the power 5 on both sides let's go ahead and do that one fifth power that means this power 5 and this fifth root they are gone so we ended up with the 30 plus the cube root of 7 followed by the square root of x equal to 2 power 5 is 32 and now we want to isolate this radical part so let's go ahead and subtract 30 from both sides so we ended up with the cube root of 7 followed by the square root of x equal to 2 as you can see these 30 and negative 30 they cancel each other out so now we want to remove this cube root so we are going to take the power 3 on both sides let's go ahead and do that one so that means this cube and this cube root they undo each other so we ended up with simply 7 plus square root of x equals to 8 we are almost finished let's go ahead and move this 7 on the other side so we will end up with the square root of x equal to 8 minus 7 it's just like a subtracting 7 from both sides so square root of x turns out to be 1 so now let's remove this radical this square root so we're going to take the square on both sides so let's take care of this one as well so as you can see this square and square root they undo each other so we ended up with simply x equal to 1 square is 1 and that is our solution so thus our solution to this radical equation turns out to be x equal to 1 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye